I thought something like this might happen. That's why I prepared for it. What are you talking about? Your own personal mojo, Doc. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 deadliest horror monsters. Insects don't have politics. They're very brutal. For this list, we'll be looking at the most dangerous, murderous creatures of the horror world, and including those that may take human form. We're ranking according to potential deadliness, so on-screen kills are not the only thing related to the order of the entries. Which horror monster is deadliest in your opinion? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Jaws, aka Bruce. Jaws franchise. The generally accepted confirmed kill count of the first Jaws film is eight, with six of those committed by the shark itself. doesn't seem like much, and the overall total for the franchise is only around 37 or so. However, let's take a look at the potential for death, which we mentioned in our criteria. If a great white shark decides to attack a crowded beach, not only will a few be eaten or injured by the shark itself, but the collateral damage will be extensive as well. This is all thanks to the likelihood that beachgoers would all simultaneously panic and go into every man for himself mode, trampling each other ruthlessly. You could blame this on the innate inability of humans to remain calm, but ultimately it would be the shark's fault. My boy is dead. I wanted you to know that. Number 19, Chucky, Child's Play franchise. Charles Ray is a heinous serial killer who attempts to save his own life by passing on his consciousness into a good guy doll after he is shot. Also known as Chucky, his motivation as the psychotic knife-wielding doll is to once again find himself a human body. You shouldn't tell your customers where you hide things like this, John. Gets you in trouble every time. Now how do I get out of this body? Since no one suspects the good guy, it's opened the door for a number of murders, with Chucky's cumulative kill count landing somewhere in the 70s. Unsurprisingly, there's a lot of gore and endless blood in the Child's Play series, and that possessed dolly definitely had a few kids suspiciously eyeing their own dolls starting in the late 1980s. Imagine if Chucky somehow found a way to inhabit a number of dolls at once, the deadly possibilities would be endless. Come on, talk. I said talk to me, damn it! All right, then I'm gonna make you talk. Number 18, The Wolfman. The Wolfman 1941 and The Wolfman 2010. While the kill count in the 1941 classic The Wolfman can be counted on one hand, the fact that the film influenced so many subsequent werewolf stories makes it worthy of a mention. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. That's funny. That's the same thing the girl in the antique shop said. Meanwhile, though the 2010 remake wasn't very well received, the body count increased significantly, with the titular monster being responsible for about five times as many deaths. In both movies, the protagonists, both of whom share the surname Talbot, are bitten by a werewolf and so become one themselves. They then, as werewolves do, go on a murderous, uncontrollable rampage. Werewolves have it rough though. It's basically a fugue state, during which one becomes a brutal killer, only to come out of it and deal with the inevitable guilt. And knowing there are a ton of werewolf incarnations in the horror world, the potential for death is immense. The wolf must have attacked her and Larry came to the rescue. I'm sorry, Sir John. Number 17, Mutated Fish Creature, The Host. Sea creatures have a heck of a destructive track record in the movies, and the giant mutated one from the South Korean flick The Host is no exception. The sci-fi horror movie follows the aftermath of 200 bottles of formaldehyde being poured into the Han River. If I pour them in the drain, they run into the Han River. That's right. Let's just dump them in the Han River. This results in the creation of an amphibious monster. Called Guomul, the chemically affected creature ends up having a penchant for eating people, and does so with gusto. 
Its on-screen kill count is only about 16, but imagine the potential for serious damage should a creature like this be free for a long period of time. <laughs> Snacks are a plenty on the surface as they are in the river, and the creature is both water and land roaming. Number 16, the creeper. Jeepers Creepers franchise. The Creeper from the Jeepers Creepers franchise only has an on screen kill count of about 28 unfortunate victims. However, his historical body count is many times that, likely in the thousands. Every 23rd spring, for 23 days, he gets to eat. Every 23 years, the creeper is said to come out of hiding to hunt for 23 days. It is basically said to hunt down humans in order to obtain their healthy organs to replace its own withered ones. The demonic creature is said to be thousands of years old, or perhaps even as old as the upright human race. It's a skilled hunter, with centuries of experience, and countless potential deaths in its untold stories. <laughs> What? Also, it drives, which is an odd thing to be honest. Who taught it? Number 15, Candyman. Candyman franchise. The Candyman was formerly a black artist by the name of Daniel Robitaille, whose only crime was loving a white woman in the late 19th century. He was killed in a particularly brutal fashion for his so called transgressions as part of an interracial relationship. After being chased and physically assaulted by human beings, bees finished the job. Candyman was stung to death by the bees. They burned his body on a giant pyre and then scattered his ashes over Cabrini Green. Thus, Candyman was created as a vengeful spirit who has a taste for murdering anyone who's in denial about him. The Candyman urban legend is reminiscent of the Bloody Mary one. Say his name five times in the mirror and he will be summoned. And then he'll kill the summoner and anyone else around for the show. Candyman, 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 Candyman. Candyman. He is almost invincible as a ghost, and has a number of superhuman abilities, namely the control of bees, super strength, etc. His film kill count ranges between the 30s and 40s, but that doesn't account for any of the lives he has certainly taken prior to and off screen. Number 14, Graboids, Tremors franchise. Remember that movie with Kevin Bacon being hunted down by giant desert worms? Well, they made seven of those films and a TV series. We killed it! You got that? We killed that mother humper! Come back! <laughs> uh, roger that, Bert, and uh, congratulations. Be advised, however, there are two more. These gigantic worm-like monstrosities, known as graboids, have a cumulative kill count of over 700 poor souls. The creatures also evolve over time, from graboids to shriekers, and let's just call them butt blasters to stay in the PG realm. All three are deadly in their own ways and have contributed to this massive death count. Who named them graboids anyway? <laughs> uh, friend of ours, uh, Walter Chang. He named them. Then they ate him. A fully grown graboid can measure up to 30 feet in length and 6 feet in girth, and they are strong, highly sensitive to vibrations, and harbour a deadly parasite, among other things. Now, if only we could get a Tremors and Footloose crossover. Wait, wait, wait! This one's not falling for it. Number 13, The Entity. It follows. The entity in It Follows is a mysterious one, and what it is exactly isn't quite identified. What exactly is supposed to be following you? I don't know. Basically, this supernatural monster attaches to its host through physical intimacy, and will follow said host until it can kill them, then fall back to trying to kill its previous host. Look, even though it's following you, I can still see it. It's not done with me either, okay? 
And like I told you, all you can do is pass it along to someone else. The only way for the host to get rid of the thing is to sleep with someone and transmit it to them like a virus. It's basically an STI, but in the form of a murderous haunting. The on-screen kill count for this monster is only two, but contemplating how little we know about its origins and age hints at a long history of possible mayhem. Plus, entities of this nature are often ancient and quite deadly when it comes to horror lore. Practice safe sex, viewers. Now, at this very instant, your soul will leave your body and you will no longer be a person. And that, this is certain. Number 12, It, aka Pennywise the Dancing Clown. It, 1990, It, 2017, and It, Chapter 2. You didn't think we'd leave out our old buddy Pennywise, did you? Georgie, meet Pennywise. <laughs> now we aren't strangers, are we? Speaking of ancient entities, Pennywise has been around for millions, possibly billions of years. He's essentially a glamour, an old Gaelic term for a shape-shifting creature. The trans-dimensional fear eater crashed into North America ages ago in some sort of asteroid-like event and cyclically hibernates for 27 years, only to re-emerge to feed, then return to hiding. It basically hunts for sustenance, or food, for about a year, then goes back to bed. However, it can only feed if fear is instilled in its prey, hence the commonly taken scary clown form. So, considering its age and hunting cycle, we can assume that its death toll is much, much higher than what we see on screen. You'll float down here. We'll float down here. Yes, we do. <laughs> Number 11, Pinhead, Hellraiser franchise. As one of the leaders of the Cenobites, he and his fellow extra-dimensional ex-humans have on-screen death tally in the hundreds and counting. You solved the box. We came. Now you must come with us. Pinhead himself has been estimated to be the cause of death of over 240 people at the nightclub in the franchise's third installment. With 10 films between 1987 and 2018, and a reboot due in 2022, this possibly demon like being has had a lot of time to murder. Affectionately known as Pinhead, his backstory is actually a little sad. He was a World War I soldier who lost faith in humanity and religion upon seeing the horrors of war. He then lived a life of hedonistic recklessness until he found the Lament configuration, some sort of hellish puzzle box, and became a hell priest. The thing is, he doesn't only kill, he also likes to draw things out and cause as much torture as possible. I want to hear him confess himself. Then, maybe, maybe. Number 10, Clover, Cloverfield. In coming up with the design for Cloverfield's monster, producer J.J. Abrams was inspired by Godzilla and wished to create an American version of the creature. The name Clover is really more of a production nickname, as it's nameless in the movie itself. In the found footage flick, the creature's origins are kept somewhat mysterious, as Abrams wished to maintain a realistic feel, since in real life we also wouldn't know from where or how a monster like this could have emerged. Maybe it erupted from an ocean trench, you know? Or a crevasse. Crevice. It's just a theory. I mean, for all we know, it's from another planet and it flew here. We do know it's a deep sea creature that surfaces, wreaks havoc, and is covered in parasites. The on screen death count for Mr. Clover is almost 30 if you also count those of its parasites, but obviously its overall count would likely be in the thousands. Not only can the creature eat people like handfuls of popcorn, it also stomps on them and causes massive collateral damage. Number 9, The Blob. The Blob. We really have no clue what extraterrestrial beings may look like, but this opens up a number of imaginative opportunities. In 1958's The Blob, the antagonist is a large mass of gloopy mess that grows, envelops, and eats its surroundings. Get in the car, Jane. Oh, what are you going to do, Steve? We're going to go to the police. They'll know what to do. The amoeboidal alien eventually grows to the size of a building and is able to swallow anything in its path. It 
it is carnivorous and can easily ooze into small spaces, making it particularly difficult to evade. Its on-screen kill count is 13, but much like the other entries in this list, the actual damage it has done has to be much higher. I saw this thing kill Dr. Hallen tonight. Kill Dr. Hallen? Come on. That's right. Well, what is it? I don't know. But one thing's for sure, if it can kill Dr. Hallen, it can kill somebody else. The blob brings to mind the Boston Molasses Flood in 1919, in which a wave of rogue molasses from a storage tank resulted in over 20 fatalities and 150 injuries. True story. The molasses, not the blob. Number 8. Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th franchise Jason Voorhees has had decades to build up a credible murder resume, and he hasn't wasted any time. As one of the most popular and well-known horror characters in recent history, Jason's murderous ways are infamous. His kill count over 12 films is 157, which is a lot when you realise he's a lone offender. Jason's body has disappeared from the morgue. It was stolen. It was not stolen. Two people at the hospital are missing. Coincidence? Jason initially begins stalking campers at Camp Crystal Lake in the second installment, so there are plenty of isolated victims available to him. Later on as an undead, he's an immortal, entirely silent hulk of a man. Known for wielding a machete for people chopping, Jason Voorhees' motive is revenge, initially for his accidental death, then for the death of his mother, the first film's antagonist. Legend has it that Jason saw his mother beheaded that night and he took his revenge. A revenge that he'll continue to seek if anyone ever enters his wilderness again. Number 7. Death Angels, aka The Creatures, a Quiet Place franchise. If there's one thing people do well, it's make noise. So the creatures in A Quiet Place that stalk their prey based on sound can easily turn the world into a desolate landscape. <laughs> The kill count of these extraterrestrial creatures is basically impossible to know, as they wiped out most of humanity in a simple few months. The remaining humans must walk with great caution and can't make any sound, which proves incredibly difficult as we are inherently a loud species. The Death Angels also happen to be large, toothy monsters that can kill in one clawed swipe. What's possibly worse is that they appear to kill only to eradicate, as they don't eat their human victims. Ruthless. <laughs> Number 6. Freddy Krueger – A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise much like Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger is an iconic horror character. Freddy's kill count is lower than Jason's, but still quite significant, with 40 plus victims. You think you was gonna get away from me? I know you too well now, Freddy. However, his potential for damage is a lot higher. Freddy attacks through dreams, meaning he's entering his victim's mind and placing his prey in the most vulnerable position. Whatever damage he does in the dream world occurs in reality, hence he can easily find endless victims to psychologically torture and kill. Freddy was actually a murderer before he became an undead spirit working with dream demons, having taken the lives of 20 local children prior to getting caught and burned alive by the townspeople. I took gasoline, I poured it all around the place, and made a trail of it out the door. Then lit the whole thing up and watched it burn. If you factor in these 20, Freddy's kill count climbs up to the 60s. Number 5. The Thing the thing. Possibly the worst thing to run into while researching in Antarctica is a parasitic alien life form that can take over and mimic other living beings, killing the others in its path. You see, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms, and it imitates them perfectly. That's exactly what happens in John Carpenter's 1982 film, The Thing. 
One of the main issues with the thing is that because it assimilates and replicates its victims, it spreads itself through the populace. This could likely go unnoticed if it occurred in a heavily populated area, but comes quickly to the attention of the researchers due to their small numbers. We're gonna draw a little bit of everybody's blood. We're gonna find out who's the thing. The exact number of victims taken by the parasite on screen is hard to pinpoint, but imagine the absolute carnage if this thing got out into, say, Coachella. Mind you, that probably won't happen. It's impossible to get tickets. Wait here for a little while. See what happens. Number four, Predator. Predator franchise. Don't let their dreadlock-like appendages fool you. These hunters are anything but human. The overall motive of these extraterrestrial beings seems to be global domination, and they clearly have a penchant for hunting, hence the names. Came in through the tripwires. Took it right out from under our noses. They hail from an alien world that is far more technologically and physically advanced than Earth. Huge, unattractive, and seemingly built solely for wreaking havoc, the Aucha may be humanoid, but they're far from earthly. Their on-screen kill count, if you factor in the Alien vs Predator films, is somewhere around 305, which shouldn't really surprise anyone. Don't worry, you'll be fine, if you can GET TO THE CHOPPER! Number 3, Sadako Yamamura, The Ring Franchise. Sadako Yamamura is the main antagonist in the Japanese Ring series, and she has a massive death track record. There are a number of backstories for the character, and they tend to change from one film to another. However, one thing remains the same. As a ghost, Sadako kills with views. <laughs> Essentially, she creates cursed videotapes that kill those who watch them. The nature of the murder isn't really clear, but it appears the victims have been scared to death. In Sadako vs Kayako, her tape is uploaded onto the internet and is immediately viewed by 6,000 unfortunate souls. Therefore, Sadako's kill count exceeds 6,000, easily placing her here. And we didn't even factor in Samara Morgan, who is the American version of Sadako in the Ring films. I saw her face. Number two, Xenomorphs, Alien franchise. Because they can't reproduce without taking over other organisms, the xenomorphs can be very deadly. Implied to operate under a sort of hive mind, these aliens have all the killing instinct of an aggressive hunter, without any pesky conscience getting in the way. Dallas? Since they prey on pretty much any other forms of life, they can be quite terrifying. They're also terrifying looking, with their oblong heads, sharp slimy teeth, and inner jaws, or attack tongues, inside their mouths. If you include the Alien vs Predator films, the Xenomorphs have a kill count of around 265. Their potential for damage would place that number a lot higher, especially given their ruthless ability for thoughtless carnage. Ripley, we have to talk. They've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Godzilla. Godzilla franchise. Some may categorize Godzilla to be more of a science fiction monster than horror, but really, it could go both ways. Godzilla, or Godzilla, has been the main attraction of at least 36 films thus far, with the first being the 1954 Japanese kaiju flick. The prehistoric sea monster has gone through a lot of different adversaries, demonstrated multiple abilities and a few awful film reviews, and yet is still going strong. Godzilla finds himself in our top spot for the simple reason that his kill count is, well, uncountable. The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. 
and not the other way around. He may not necessarily be solely fighting humans, but the sheer amount of collateral damage caused by a Godzilla battle is inarguably enormous. Many humans could be stomped, crushed by debris, get radiation poisoning, etc. And likely very many have, all things considered. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.